IUIC 2023 Passover. Pride go up before destruction. The Lord will begin with the house of Israel. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rawacha Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is only begotten Son. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone. Seek honor to the elect. Peace and blessings. To the one third and confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> At the beginning of this video, who you saw on that horse was Bishop Nathaniel, pretty much the head of IUIC. And IUIC is your acronym, um, Israelites United in Christ. We don't like using that word, but I'm going to use it for edification's sake. Now, when you watch the rest of the video at the end, I really don't want to make this too long because that little portion I showed you, there's like seven minutes of that. And it's absolute pride, you know, absolute pride. And it's um, it's disgusting to me in a sense. It's almost as if he wants to be on the same playing field, level field as Yahweh Shai. Because that's the Passover, right? The Passover is a solemn assembly. The Passover is when the Lord brought us out of Egypt. The place of bondage, right? In the times we're in right now, we're still behind enemy lines. We're still under curses. We're still in captivity. So we're supposed to come to the Lord humbly. There's nothing humble about that appearance. And as you see, the rest of the video is quite disturbing. So um, this is Joel 1 and 13. Gird yourselves and lament, ye priests. The priests are the men. How, ye ministers of the altar, come, lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God. We don't serve the same God. Because he's serving Christ and Most High. We serve Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withholding from the house of your God. So we're supposed to be in time of mourning and lament. Not in lavish clothing. Not in um, gay apparel. Like it's spoken of in the New Testament, right? Verse 14. Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of Yahweh, your God, and cry unto the Lord, alas for the day. For the day of the Lord is at hand, and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. And the Lord said, the meek shall inherit the earth. That's not a meek appearance that he just had there. There's nothing meek about that. Right? He's being in a question and will make it even worse. He's being guided by <laughs> some heathens. I mean, he can't even ride on it himself. Right? But it just goes back to the pride of our people. Even in the lowest state, a time of where there shall be no like none other on earth, Jacob's trouble. And this is what they're doing. And what make it even worse, they have women at the Passover. The priests are supposed to be the ones that's holding the Passover. The one, the, the men, right? But I'm not going to get into that. So let's go to um, first, first Peter chapter 5, verse 5 through 6. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea. All of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. We're supposed to be clothed with humility, not flashy garments, not being flamboyant, especially with the Passover. With us being saved from the clutches of our enemies, what do we have to rejoice at in this moment where we're still in the hands of our enemy? Listen, for God resisteth the proud, Right? And giveth grace to the humble. Grace is mercy. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. And his name is Yahweh. So the Lord will exalt us in due time. We're not supposed to be exalting ourselves. And then you have the women wailing, and they holding their mouth, and they crying, and the kids are jumping. They acting like this man is Yahweh shy. It irks me. I'm serious. That That's a... That's a real irk right there. 
because judgment is not executed speedily. Therefore, it's in the heart of man to do wickedly. That's wicked to me. Regardless of how you see it. And also, he's pretty much reenacting what Yahweh Shai did. Hearken to this. Zechariah 9 and 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation. Lowly. And riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. Let that sink in. So, yeah, how is Shire, our king, is going to be riding on a donkey, being lowly, having salvation, and being just. He's on a high horse being escorted in by two heathens. With all the men and women in their flashy garbs. Which not, not, that's not going to save you. Being humble. Being meek. Being compelling. Being admonished. Being constantly refined. That there is what's going to save you, man. And during it to the end. What do we have to be boastful about? Yeah? Let that sink in. The Lord's going to start at his house. First Peter chapter 4 verse 17. There's nothing humble about this situation, man. I don't want to make this long, but as you can see, I'm just going to have a video playing in the background because I don't make it long. You can just see how our people, you know what? It makes when the Lord said the deceit and deceive are his. This is a prime example right here. Prime example right here. You have a lot of blood on your hand, man. You love this. You, you slow belly. You cretin. Claiming to know the most high, but you deny him in his works. Let me get that. You don't even you don't even call upon their names. Wickedry. Titus 1 and 15. I'm gonna close out. Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. Right? Being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobates. Yeah? So, these are the men of the circumcision whose mouths must be shut. Because they're leading the people astray. This is an abominable act. This is pride at its finest. Right? Let me get one more precept and I'm going to close out. Because pride was not made for man. Sirach 10 and 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God, Yahweh, and his heart is turned away from his maker. Because you're not doing the will of the Lord. You're not humbling yourself in the Lord. You're not being clothed with humility so the Lord can exalt you. you exhorting yourself and the people boasting you up with, with, with this with this. <laughs> Silly act. Verse 13. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. Yeah. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. <coughs> so like you. So right now. Right there. The Lord is telling you. He uproot the proud. Okay. Forgive me. <clears throat> Dry throat. And right here. Sirach 10. And I'm going to close out. Sirach 10 and 18. Pride was not made for men. Nor fierce anger for them that are born of a woman. So. There's more following in Israel. With that being said, pray you was edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quamesha Allah. Bofla Baba. Shalom.
on deck. Hand salute. Salute down. Israel, face Jerusalem. <laughs> 